Just as Nintendo has spawned some of gaming's most noble and memorable heroes, so too has it created enduring antagonists. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Nintendo villains. Kitty, I have something to show you! No, no, no! Number 10, DJ Octavio, Splatoon. Neither a squid nor a kid, yet he can drop them beats. DJ Octavio serves as the final boss in the single player portion of Splatoon, though more specifically, he's the leader of the tentacle-shaped Octarians antagonizing the player-controlled Inklings. Octavio's appearance as an irate octopus wearing an ornate helmet walks a fine line between adorable and intimidating. Meanwhile, his tactics of firing octopus-themed torpedoes, missiles, a built-in killer whale weapon, and flat-out going ballistic when the Squid Sisters start singing all help him become a seriously threatening boss character. Number 9. Hades. Kid Icarus Uprising. Hello there. Ah! I've, I've been, been so looking, looking forward to your arrival, Kitty Cat. Malevolence is rarely so charming. Introduced partway through Kid Icarus Uprising, Hades positions himself as an aloof and vaguely affable villain, finding enough time to make sarcastic and flirtatious remarks. Next to me, little Miss Medusa's going to look like a sweet, cuddly bunny. As the game comes to a close, Hades' true cruelty begins to surface, just as his physical form becomes more grotesque and unusual. Even then, he's as skilled in matching wits with his foes as he is in his use of magic and hand-to-hand -hand techniques in combat and he proved to be devious in his machinations. For instance, he set in motion the conflict of the original Kid Icarus game. Classy. This is this ever is so tiresome. So then let's finish it! Wait, wait, huh? Ooh. Number 8, King Dedede, Kirby Series. <laughs> it's surprising how much nuance and complexity can be wrought out of a penguin with a hammer. But that's where things stand out with King Dedede the debatable ruler of Dreamland and the leader of the Waddle Dees. Initially set up as the adversary of the pink hero Kirby, DDD walks a fine line between providing comedic relief and undergoing significant development. Hey, you see, look at how I feed my hungry little scoffers. Can't get more responsible than that. He shifts from self-interested antagonist into something of a well-intentioned extremist, even aiding and appreciating Kirby's efforts at times. Plus, when things get a bit too heavy, he can always be counted on to lighten the mood. <laughs> you all pull up, are you? Then come here to death! <laughs> Number 7, Fawful, Mario and Luigi series. He has fury and he wants you to know it. Fawful first appeared in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga as the servant of the villain Cacletta, standing out with his use of broken English and food-themed analogies. However, it was only in Bowser's Inside Story that gamers were greeted to Fawful's true villainy, as he set about undermining the Mushroom Kingdom and relying on his extensive mechanical skills to terrifying effect. <laughs> Furthermore, his showmanship and recurring emotional outbursts ensures that every scene with Fawful is chuckle-worthy at the very least. Number 6, Andros, Star Fox series. I've been looking forward to this day to see you again, Fox McCloud. It's beings like this that give science a bad name. Though he was first glimpsed by players as a polygonal face in the original Star Fox game, later games would establish Andros as a creepy monkey-esque scientist whose desire to experiment had gone off the rails. And now to destroy the Lylan system! Pretty much the equivalent of Zordon from the Power Rangers, except evil of course, Andros set about leading an army to conquer the Lilat system, killing Fox McCloud's father in the process. The element of a personal vendetta, coupled with his incredible resistance to near-death experiences, gives Andros a menacing presence shared by few. If I go down, I'm taking you with me! Number 5, Gygas, Mother Series. With a name like the embodiment of evil, there is no doubting such a villain's nature. Also known as Gaige in Earthbound Zero, this being is an alien who was initially intent on retaking the power of Psy from humanity, although he soon shifted gears into spreading darkness and evil across the cosmos. His malevolent nature was tempered by his past love for his human parents in the first Mother game, but by the events of Earthbound, Gygas has transformed. 
Just as important as his commitment to all-out devastation is his unsettling form. Gygas gradually grows less corporeal as the player faces him, eventually being visualized as an unintelligible horror. Number 4. K. Rule Donkey Kong Country Series He's been a regal king, a pirate captain, and a mad scientist, and all of them are rather mean. King K. Rule adopts many an alias in pursuit of one goal, to ruin the Kong family. I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that horde of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. K. Rule's name being a pun on cruel, it's understandable that he'd be relentless in his efforts to crush Donkey Kong and company. Yet, K. Rule is also a harsh commander to his followers, greedily covets the Kong's banana horde, and he can use his swiftness and physicality to challenge foes in a straight-up fight. I hope for your sake you're right this time. Number 3. Ridley, Metroid Series An ally of the malicious AI Mother Brain, Ridley is no pushover himself. Even in terms of visual design, Ridley is monstrous. He resembles a skeletal dragon with dashes of pterodactyl physiology, made more unsettling by his piercing eyes. That's not all there is to him, though. He's also a key member of the villainous Space Pirates, pillaging and causing mayhem all across the galaxy. Proving surprisingly intelligent and showing expertise in robotics, Ridley balances ingenuity with sheer ruthlessness, best exemplified by his murder of Samus Aran's parents in front of a three-year-old Samus. Now that's just dark. Number 2. Ganondorf, The Legend of Zelda series So long as there is a Triforce of Power, there lies Ganondorf, waiting to use it for evil. One of the rare male members of the Gerudo race, Ganondorf, also known as Ganon, has long posed a threat to the land of Hyrule. His command of magic is nearly unparalleled, granting him such abilities as transforming into a pig form, resistance to injury, and sheer physical strength. Unfortunately, all this talent is married to a cruel and greedy being who grows increasingly world-weary and possibly envious of others' inner nobility with each installment. Topped off by his imposing demeanor, it's easy to see his grim appeal. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Bowser, Mario Series Commanding his son Bowser Jr. and the seven Koopalings, the king of the Koopas has never ceased to embody simple, straightforward antagonism. Bowser, visually resembling a cross between a turtle and a dragon, has opposed the Mario Brothers from the very beginning, working to kidnap Princess Peach and undermine her kingdom. Ill-tempered and fierce, King Bowser is as willing to fight in direct combat as he is to let his minions do battle on his behalf. Perhaps more importantly, Bowser is malleable enough in nature to adopt more amicable or neutral roles while still posing a direct physical threat when the time comes. But all that's not as important as the fact that, well, it's Bowser. Who else could have we picked? Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.